All right, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, let's talk Raptorium. I seem to be stuck on this Raptorium kick, uh, bouncing between mining pools from 011 data to supernova, CPU mining stuff, setting stuff up, and just uh, also the smart node stuff I've looked into and I have that running. So I take my, I take my mind Raptorium and I move it up to the inode Z and I start getting passive income by putting my Raptorium on the smart nodes and just get rewards every couple days. It's kind of kind of a sweet thing. So then I keep hearing about um, solo mining. All right, what's this solo mining? Do you, from my experience, you needed like a certain am amount, a balance to get started. And maybe I misunderstood it. This is like years, a few years ago or a year ago. I didn't understand what it was. And I took it at that. I just let it drop. And I hear it now and then. I go, okay, the only way you're really going to learn is start looking at the documentation of the coin you're interested in or any coin just to see what is this solo mining, what do you do, and how do you get started. So one plus, one big plus for Raptorium is their documentation and their website, as you can see right here. Nice website. And uh, just go right to the website. I'd recommend it to anybody. I know it's RTFM. People don't go read the manuals. I'm guilty of that as well. You just want to point and click and go. That's all good. You know, that's all well and good. But sometimes reading, you can find out some little gems or little tips or give you some other information like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Like, let's go through this. So go to their home, their home site, their website, raptorium.com. Go to, I think it's tools, documentation. Kablamo! All right. Uh, this is where you should start. Most of these coins have the same wallet framework. It's that QT, QT wallet. They all look, look and feel the same, which is kind of nice. So when you download them on Windows, you pretty much have, you, you know how to navigate them, which is, which is good. They're not all one-off. It's kind of a common user interface, which I like. Uh, makes it more intuitive. All right, let's go down. So mining. I say go through each of this crap, go through all of it, read it, just be familiar with it. Don't even just skim it and stuff will pop out to you and go, oh, I want to learn more about, more about that. Don't, you know, don't force feed yourself all this stuff. Just pick out little stuff now and then and it'll actually make you a better miner. I mean, you'll learn. Knowledge is power. It really is. Because, you know, most times you really don't know what you don't know until you start looking and go, oh, I can set up a pool. I can cross compile this stuff if I, you know, pretty much have Ubuntu set up or Linux running on a server. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, smart nodes. Yeah, smart nodes. How do I use smart nodes? It's all right here. I mean, I'm, I will admit, most times you go to Reddit or something, and this stuff's just wrong. This stuff is old or it's not accurate, and sometimes the links are bad or questionable, and it just gives you bad information. You waste a lot of time. So you just go right to the source. So what did I do? How to mine RTM? Blammo. Went in here and said, okay, I understand all this stuff. I am mining right now. CPU mining using XM rig. So, you know, they even set it up here. G GPU mining is not supported yet, which is kind of cool. So if they ever open it up to GPU mining, that's pretty awesome. So right now, solo and pool CPU mining is available. I am mostly doing pool right now. I'm switching one rig to solo just to see what it does. It might not do anything. I don't know. I'm just going to do it, let it run and see what happens. All right. So there it's, it says it right off the top. Go on down. Gives you all the stuff on the repository, the GitHub. Uh, get into, that's all compiling stuff. Here's what I care about. How to solo mine with the wallet. Raptorium's network difficulty makes it hard to solo mine a block with the wallet. If you want dependable and regular payouts, it is recommended to use pool mining. Okay, good to know. So this is probably going to be a futile effort, but I'm going to try it anyway. They even say it right here. The network difficulty makes it hard to solo mine. All right, but they allow it. Uh, so here you can download the wallet. You go and get the, the, the Raptorium Core wallet. And I already have one installed on another Windows box. I'm just going to download the wallet again just to run this solo mining test, right? And then go from there instead of trying to do any finagling with uh, wallet addresses or or run a miner or whatever i just want to run the wallet a fresh wallet and set it up to uh, solo mine so open up and sync can take an hour or more 
the first time you fire it up. Okay, I downloaded the wallet. Uh, you can let's go look at it right now. This is my Ryzen 9 3900. It has 12 cores and 24 threads, I believe, or 16 cores. I can't remember. All right. So here I downloaded the wallet the first time I'm starting it up. And it's going ahead and syncing up the headers. Oh my God, I'm 46 weeks behind. I'm not quite 43% there. It's going to take about an hour. So I'm letting this run in the background. And once that's done, we'll go in and we'll kick off the solo mining with this wallet. It's almost as painless as that. Just get the wallet downloaded, fire it up, let the headers sync, the blocks sync up, and it tells you right here what it's doing. It's not fast, so just get it running, up and running, and just walk away. Just give it a couple hours, an hour, a couple hours, and come back, right? It'll tell you that all the blocks are up to date and you're not behind anymore. Okay, good enough, right? All right, where are we? So all you do, you go down to, uh, let's see, once, once you can even do it before. It's not going to quite run right because it's still downloading the blocks. But once, once done, go to help. This is on the Raptorium wallet, debug window, console, and type in the little uh, input field, set generate true to. The number is the amount of cores, cores, not threads, you want it to use. It'll start mining and you will know when you hit a block as your balance will change. There's no hash rate indicator. There's no really performance indicator. All you'll notice is that your block count increases. Like our, um, um, your balance will increase, not your block count, sorry. The balance in your wallet will increase so it's just like set and forget and you may not get nothing so that's that's just the chance you take right but it's worth an experiment so if you look at the little animation right now i like how they just make it easy i like this they don't make it like trying to figure this stuff out here's how you do it you go to console you, you type in set generate to the number of cores you have and i had that up there a second ago and i really do believe mine is a 12 or let me check Hold on. I'm checking right now. And I just had this thing up too. Hold on. All right, here we go. I have a 12 core, 24 thread. So I would type set generate true 12 for the number of cores. So that's all you do and you let the thing rip. But like they say, this guy right here definitely makes it hard to solo mine a block with the wallet. If you want to depend on regular payouts, it's recommended to use pool mining. Okay, I'm using 011 data and I switched over to Supernova just to see if that's better. They're pretty much both the same, both the same in payouts and that. Supernova gives more frequent payouts because they're doing lower balances like 10 or 11 Raptorium mined and you get the payout to your wallet. I take that amount, once I get enough, I move it up to inode Z on the smart nodes and uh, let that start reaping, uh, reaping passive income. So let's go back over here. Now we're already eight minutes into this, let's end this. Uh, so you get the gist of it, download the wallet. You can do it all through the wallet. There's no guarantee of success, but it's worth an experiment if you're curious, just to say you try it. And so I'm still syncing up, but I would go up to tools, debug console, hit that, and then type in what you saw on the, um, on the demo here on the help page oh my gosh here we go all right hope this helps i mean if anything go to the documentation it's so it's so simple i mean i was loop, uh, looping around i was searching around for answers i went oh let me go to the raptorium page duh and they had documentation they had the polling and they do like i said they do um uh solo mining i said oh, let's just try it so i'm at the point now i'm waiting for the wallet to sync up and i'm just gonna let it rip i don't expect much of anything based on what they say here but at least I'm going to give it a shot. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it turns out. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps someone. Do you have any suggestions on solar mining? Whether I'm wasting my time, which I most likely am, but that's fine. What are you going to do? You got to you got to try stuff to learn it. Hands on to learn. Just reading really doesn't cut it. You got to do. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, go out and keep mining. All right. Take care. I'm out. Bye.